Hello dear, welcome to another episode. This lesson is for JavaScript intermediate developers. After taking this course, you should be able to develop an interactive website. Today's topic is called JavaScript URL 5 part queries. This episode is similar to JavaScript URL get query, but this time we are using the part of the file as our query data. There are times whereby information are being stored inside a folder. Remember that a folder can contain several files and related directories. You may want to retrieve some information from that specific folder. Example is Facebook. Facebook uses folder to store information on their server. This folder is created for you when signing up for Facebook. Facebook can retrieve your information based on that folder. This can be done through the file path and JavaScript can enable us to do similar thing. So back in our IDE, the first thing that I want to create is a function. I will call this function $get. This time, we will not pass any parameters to this function. And we all know that definitely that this function must return back a value. So it's just better we initialize a variable that is called value. So the next thing we want to do is to get access to our absolute file path. So for that, we'll create a variable called URL. And to get access to your absolute file path, we use window.location.href. That's a hypertext reference. So I'm just going to alert this for you so that you can see what is going on here. A lot. Control S that and run that in your browser. You can see this is the absolute file part of my website. This is the file. This is the folder. So you can say that index.html lies in a folder known as JS. Now there are other folders which are will not be, which we are not really interested in right now. And there's also one thing I wanted to notice that each of these particular five parts is separated using a forward slash. So let's get rid of that alert statement. So the first thing we want to do is to convert this particular URL to an array. And we'll convert it using the split method of the array. So we are going to split this particular URL based on the forward slash. Now when we split this particular element based on the forward slash, the next thing that we just want to do is to initialize our value to a arrow arrow, that is the array that we just created area earlier, a arrow arrow dot length minus one. So minus one is going to give us access to index.html. Minus two is going to give us access to JS. Minus three is going to give us access to desktop. Minus four is going to give us access to HP 2200. And you just keep on going on like that. So what is actually going on here is that first of all, we get the length of this particular URL. And since it's an array, so array will start from the counting of zero. So we can easily minus one. For minus one, we'll get index. For minus two, we'll get gx. So for this particular offset value, we'll just minus two. Then finally, we'll return our value. Control S there. So we'll just test this out by using a lot dollars get get uh will not pass anything in there control s that and uh, let's see if we can run it in our browser refresh and you see we have access to our js folder so if i want to get access to my um html that is the five parts i will just change this to minus one control s refresh and you can see index.html so let me see let me um stop that let me get access to the desktop so change this to minus three 
control s there um run it yeah we have access to desktop so this is the end of the episode i hope it was interesting for you goodbye and remain safe